By the way, I'm the one on the left. Hello, I'm Clipido, and I love theater. <laughs> Let's make theater into a person for this video. This is her. I think of theater as singing, acting, and or dancing on stage. Mostly acting though. Theater has helped shape me who I am today and I want to share how I got there. So here's part one out of like a whole lot of parts. When I was very little, my brother was into acting. Like really into acting. He put do not disturb, I'm acting signs in front of his room all the time. If you offered him even a billion dollars to stop doing acting, Actually, I don't know what he's thinking, so I wouldn't know. That's beside the point. What I'm trying to say here is he was really into acting. On the other hand, I thought acting was boring and was more interested in just drawing. <clears throat> was just more interested in drawing. <laughs> Guess who was in an acting camp for three hours a day for a very long time? Me. <laughs> Theater had decided, oh, you don't like acting? Well, that's too bad. Shoves on stage. <laughs> the acting camp was more like a being on stage-ish type camp. Basically, it had different scenes. One where we act. Whoa, I'm an elephant, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm an elephant! Yeah! <laughs> elephant noises! One where we danced. Pretend this is background music to the song we're dancing to. Also, I can't make a skit about this because I don't remember what we did in this portion of the camp. And one where we all sang. Our singing was so good. It sounded like this. <laughs> we are young. <laughs> We're gonna set the world. We're gonna set the world on fire. Even though I thought acting was boring, I still loved being on stage. Perhaps because it was a good way for me to express myself, my talents, and get involved in the community. No, of course not. I was like in kindergarten or first grade. I just loved being the center of attention. So, back to the stage acting camp thingamabobber. So one day, when we were all singing, it was just a normal, average day, a staff pulled me and this other boy aside from all the other kids. They said, Hey, you're gonna have a tiny, tiny solo in the older kids' performance? Hell yeah! The older kids performance! Ah. That burst in my self-esteem so much! My confidence skyrocketed! Up to the moon! They might have just picked us randomly, but... The boy who was also picked was good at singing, so... That meant I was a good singer too, right? I felt so cool. I, Clobido, would be working with the older kids. So cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, you guys, same age as me, pathetic, are singing that lame song. I'm gonna be hanging out with the older kids. And then, I'll join you singing that lame song. This opportunity just boosted my confidence and got me to keep singing and doing what I love, what I'm good at. Or maybe I wasn't good at singing and I was just the only one who smiled in singing. Regardless, I love singing. I forget who said this or if it was just a thought, but it said this. I mean, you're okay, I guess, but it's not like you're that good at singing. Could me just to push that thought aside and believe I was the very best at singing. I was so happy, but I had a feeling the older kids were thinking, oh, These children are so annoying. We work hard on a song and they just waltz in and think they're as good as us. They're not even that good at singing. <sighs> Again, I just chose to ignore it and continue on thinking I was the best person to ever exist. <laughs> I was a kid who 
had a big ego. But that might have been the best part of the camp. I didn't really enjoy much else besides that. I loved singing at home, but singing there for a long time was so tiring and I thought I was too good because I understood quicker than everybody else. Or at least it seems like it. Acting, I just found boring. I thought it was too easy. I didn't fully grasp the concept of all of it yet, and my peers didn't like it, so I said I didn't like it. And that's not a great mindset. Like what you wanna like, everyone! I was a bit narrow-minded, because the only acting I wanted to do was the scripts and the quote-unquote legit stuff, which what I defined as plays with characters and not this, continue and find out. Yeah, I never got to that. Anyways, I wanted to know whether I should put my energy into this big project or if I should just conserve my energy. Is this thing we've been practicing for months and months really gonna be what we're performing? Are you sure? Dancing was okay, I guess, I think. I didn't particularly enjoy it or not. I don't really remember what we did at the camp. Anyways, <laughs> the only thing I would have looked forward to doing the camp another year is getting a medal. After three years, you get a medal! <laughs> I had never gotten a medal before and I really wanted one. But, you know, that's not a good reason to stay, so I quit. That was my only real theater camp and I didn't enjoy it. It was still one of the main parts of my journey though. Clobodo. Why do you consider this a main part of your journey? It was nothing big. Sure, it was not a huge, huge thing, but, but it was the first step I took towards this theater journey. B but you quit. It doesn't mean it didn't help me on my journey. Although I don't remember exactly what they taught us. They helped introduce me to the stage and get used to it. Being one of the special kids who got to perform in the older kids' performance just gave me that boost of confidence. Yeah, I was good enough to be on stage in front of hundreds and thousands of people. The stage camp helped me realize that I guess I loved being on stage. And being the center of attention. <laughs> This camp was my first step to theater on a long journey. So yeah, this series is basically gonna be like one huge timeline of a jumble of theater stuff. Each video is a new event on this timeline. I'll make it into a playlist and part two is in the description if you're watching when I post part two. <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but I made my own fan art. So here it is, tell me if you like it. Each video on this, this stage camp helped me re- the, uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Hello! <laughs> They're not even that good at singing. <laughs> okay. This opportunity- <laughs> oh gosh, what was that? Okay. <laughs> These children are so annoying. <laughs> Bye.